Hey everybody, it is Friday, October 16th. Yes, we have made it through another week. Congratulations, keep it up. Here we go, these are our national days. It is Dictionary Day. So whether we're talking about those books, the big books from when I was a kid uh, that used to have to go through and flip through the pages to find the definition, uh, or you're just jumping online and finding the definition now, we're celebrating the fact that we have the ability to do that. It's also sports day, so uh, we're just celebrating all sports, regardless of whether it's a, a real activity or something that you just created on your own, but uh, sports day, and we, regardless of whether you're playing in the in the sport you're watching the sport you're coaching the sport um, all aspects of it great that we have them and uh, excited that we finally have most of them back now uh, it is department store day so this is the day when we celebrate the fact that we can go to typically a mall and uh, get some of the goods that we need instead of having to, to constantly mail order and have them uh, brought to you, you can just go and get them actually in person. Now I know that we, because we have Amazon now or whatever other kind of service you use, it kind of has changed how we, how we look at stores, but every once in a while, it's just nice to be able to go pick up something and have it immediately. So um, department store day, they'd love to have you come out and uh, support them. It's feral cat day. Now this is one of those days where there's kind of, there's a, there's a two sides on this one. So, the idea of Feral Cat Day is to bring awareness to the fact that there are cats that are native to wherever they're living. All right, they were born there, they're not owned by anybody. Um, so some people are like, oh, they're cats, they're so cute, this is great. And then some people are like, there's cats here and they are super annoying. So regardless of which side you're on, just know that there are cats that, that nobody owns. They are native to that area. And uh, that's what this day is all about, is bringing the awareness to that. So whether or not they, you can um, help people out and grab, you know, not necessarily grab cats, but, but uh, you can um, help catch the cats and, and get them to a, uh, an adoption place. Or if you're trying to shoo them away and get them into a, a different area, there you go, Feral Cat Day. It's also Bosses Day. So this is the day that we celebrate our bosses. So thank you to all of my bosses because I like having my job. And you're all really nice people. Now, you might not have thought that that was totally genuine, but actually it is. I really do appreciate all of my bosses and hopefully you can appreciate yours as well. It's also World Food Day. So this is a day when we, we bring the awareness to the fact that, that we have food but there are people that don't. So uh, this is one of those days that, that has been created to help support others with food. So this is a day to make a donation, maybe go, go check out a food bank and help out with a food bank. But regardless, um, bringing the awareness that, that food does need to get to certain people in certain places. So help out however you can. All right, let's end this with a uh, fact. And here we go, ready? Taking a shower can actually spark creativity. Now this one I was like, eh, all right, maybe it could be. Uh, so taking a shower isn't just something that's good for, for you and for maybe the people you're around, so maybe you'll smell better, but it's also good for creativity. In 2012, they did a study um, in psychology science, and the researchers found that when they gave people a creative problem to solve, um, people that went and did um, that went and did, let's see, what did they call it? Um, simple tasks. That's what it was. Simple tasks that allowed their minds to wander. They solved those creative problems better than people who were, who, you know, just, just sat and, and worked, 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 worked. So letting your mind kind of wander on things would help, helps with that. And Taking a shower is one of those things. All right, so hey, next time you, you're, you're trying to figure out how to solve a problem, go take a shower. There you go. All right, y'all, have yourselves a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.